I've been helping thyroid patients for over eight years and it still surprises me how many of them don't know how to take their thyroid medication. Plenty of them think they know how to take it, but very few are actually doing it correctly. And this is a huge problem because if you don't take it the right way, you aren't going to get any of its benefits. And in the case of your thyroid, that means things like effortless weight loss, easy hair growth, loads of free energy, and a happier disposition. The good news is it's actually pretty easy and you just need to know a few things. Number one is that you need to take your thyroid medication either first thing in the morning or right before bed. If you're like most thyroid patients, then you've probably been told that there's only one right way to take your thyroid medication and that's first thing in the morning. But there's nothing magical about this time. Your doctor just recommends it because that's usually when most people have an empty stomach. But if you know anything about the physiology of the stomach, you'll know that there are plenty of other times in the day that your stomach is empty. In fact, if you're ever feeling hungry, that's a sign that your stomach is empty. And research has shown that you can get just as good if not better results by taking your thyroid medication in the evening versus first thing in the morning. In fact, it's been my experience that most thyroid patients will see a slight boost in thyroid function as measured by their thyroid lab tests by making this simple change. This probably has to do with the fact that the body is in a rest and digest phase all throughout the evening while you're sleeping. This is compared to the morning when the gut is usually active, which is why most people have a bowel movement usually first thing in the morning. You can imagine if your gut is moving more rapidly that your thyroid medication spends less time in the gut, which means that less of it has the opportunity to get absorbed. The bottom line here is that as a thyroid patient, you have options and it's worth exploring both morning and night to see if one works better for you. Number two is make sure you take your thyroid medication at least two hours away from food. More important than when you take your thyroid medication is how you take it. And when it comes to food, that means taking your medication at least two hours away, either before or after. The reason for this goes back to what we just mentioned previously. Two hours is roughly the amount of time it takes for any food that you eat to completely empty your stomach and enter into the small intestines. The reason this matters is because all of that food that is churning inside of the stomach has the potential to interfere with your thyroid medication by binding to it. So if you take your thyroid medication with a big meal, or let's say even within an hour of eating, your thyroid medication will enter your stomach with all of that food that's churning around and being broken down. And you can bet a significant portion of that medication will not be absorbed as a result. This same general rule also applies to drinks with the exception of water. An easy way to think about it is like this. Any liquid that has calories or caffeine has the potential to cause problems. Anything that doesn't, like water, should be fine. Two of the worst liquid offenders are milk and coffee. Coffee for several reasons, which we will soon discuss, and milk because of its calcium content. Tip number three is make sure that you take your thyroid medication at the same time each and every day. In other words, be consistent. Ideally, this looks like taking your medication at the same time every day down to the very minute. Thyroid hormones have a relatively predictable metabolism. So the more consistent you are with when you take them, the less likely you are to experience any change in your symptoms. Thyroid medications come in incredibly small doses because they are so powerful. So even if you take your thyroid medication either a couple hours too early or a couple hours too late, you are putting yourself at risk for symptoms of either too much or too little thyroid medication. Practically speaking, you can go about doing this by creating a habit of when you take your medication. One way to do this is by linking when you take your thyroid medication with another habit that you're already used to doing day to day. Say for example, brushing your teeth. If you create a routine where you take your thyroid medication right after you brush your teeth, either in the morning or in the evening, then you are very unlikely to miss a dose. Most people, and I assume that you probably are included here, rarely ever miss a day of brushing their teeth. But many thyroid patients report missing a dose here or there. One of the biggest benefits of taking your thyroid medication consistently is that your thyroid lab test Test results will be more accurate. Couple that with an improvement in your symptoms as we just discussed and being consistent is a no-brainer for thyroid patients. Tip number four is never take supplements with your thyroid medication. If you're like many thyroid patients then you're probably taking something to support your thyroid and this is actually a fantastic idea. Thyroid support supplements can help you feel better and they can even help your thyroid medication work more effectively. But this only occurs if you're taking them correctly. If you're not, then there's a chance that the very supplement you're taking to support your thyroid may actually make it worse. But let me be clear, 
It's not that you can't or shouldn't take supplements if you're also taking thyroid medication. That's not it at all. What I'm saying here is that they should not be taken at the exact same time. Instead, if you want to get the benefits of both the supplements and the thyroid medication, they should be separated by 30 to 60 minutes. The reason being is that supplements contain ingredients that, just like food, can interfere with the absorption of your thyroid medication. Now, what may be confusing here is that I just said it takes two hours for food to empty through your stomach. So shouldn't this also apply to supplements? Not exactly. We know, for instance, that liquids and powders kind of fall into the same category empty the stomach much more rapidly than large whole foods. So this 30 to 60 minute time frame allows for the powder to get dissolved into the liquid and exit into the small intestines. The exception, of course, is for two very important nutrients which we're about to discuss right now. And that's tip number five. If you're taking anything that contains either calcium or iron, then that 30 to 60 minute recommendation goes out the window. Both iron and calcium have been shown in research studies to bind to and inactivate the thyroid hormone found in thyroid medication. And by the way, this effect not only occurs with calcium and iron found in supplements, but also with calcium and iron found in food as well. So whether it's an iron rich supplement or an iron rich meal, both should be taken at least four hours away from whenever you take your thyroid medication. And this four hour window also applies to calcium as well. The only exception is that if you are taking a supplement which has a very small amount of either iron or calcium. It's been my experience that thyroid patients can sometimes get away with the 30 to 60 minute time frame if the doses are low enough. But as always, your own mileage may vary, so don't be afraid to wait longer if you think you're having issues. Tip number six is make sure that you never take your thyroid medication at the same time as either coffee or caffeine. Coffee has the potential to interfere with thyroid medication in several different ways. The first is by binding to the thyroid hormone itself and limiting its absorption. The second is through its caffeine content, which stimulates the motility of the GI tract and reduces absorption. And the third is that many people are accustomed to taking their coffee with milk which provides a source of calcium. And I just mentioned a minute ago that calcium is one of those things that can bind to and inactivate thyroid hormone as well. The net effect of all three of these is actually quite powerful. One study showed that compared to taking thyroid medication with water, patients who took their thyroid medication with coffee saw a reduction in their T4 level by 36%. And another case study showed that a woman who was taking her thyroid medication with just a sip of coffee when she transitioned to taking it with water, saw a drop in her TSH from 8 down to 0.2. So if you're somebody who likes to drink coffee, make sure that you are taking your thyroid medication at least one hour away from whenever you have your cup of coffee. My own personal recommendation is to not drink coffee if you have a thyroid problem, but if you must, then wait as long as possible. The reason for this is that caffeine has a half-life of four to six hours. This means that any caffeine you consume in your cup of coffee will Will slowly degrade over the period of about 20 hours. The longer you wait before taking your thyroid medication and the farther it is away from whenever you had your cup of coffee, the better you will absorb your medication. Tip number seven is make sure that you don't take any other prescriptions at the same time as whenever you take your thyroid medication. As a whole, thyroid patients are often taking many more prescriptions than just one thyroid medication. As an example, they may be on high blood pressure medication, antidepressants, cholesterol lowering medication, anxiety medication, or medications for high blood sugar. And it may be surprising to hear, but many of these medications used to treat these very conditions can interfere with your thyroid medication. This happens because they can either prevent its absorption, interfere with the thyroid gland directly, or by reducing the activation of T4 to T3 conversion in the tissues. And unfortunately, these interactions are often missed by most doctors. Or worse, they aren't even considered. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about, let's look at a simple case of using antidepressants. Studies have shown that the use of SSRIs, which are a common class of antidepressants, can result in a drop in T4 levels. The entire point of taking thyroid medication, like let's say level thyroxine, is to actually increase your T4 levels. So if you are taking an SSRI for depression, as well as your thyroid medication, it's as if you're pressing on the gas and the brake at the same time. And this is just one example because there are plenty of others. Similar but different problems also occur with things like blood pressure medications, 
acid blocker medications, birth control pills, diabetes medications, and even cholesterol lowering medications. Some of these interactions can simply be avoided by just taking your thyroid medication several hours away from whenever you take that other prescription. But others, such as the case in acid blockers, have an effect that lasts the entire day. So it really doesn't matter if you were to take your thyroid medication 8 or 12 hours away from whenever you take your acid blocker. It would still cause problems. The bottom line here is that if you are taking thyroid medication and any other prescription medication, make sure they are not interfering with one another. If you follow these seven tips, then you are well on your way to ensuring that your thyroid medication can actually do what it's supposed to. By the way, if you're somebody who is taking multiple medications, then I would recommend checking out this video next. It walks you through some of the worst offenders and gives you alternatives in case you're taking any.